Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22449.1000. This flight has been released in the dev channel and it is the first preview of the new active development for future releases of Windows 11, which means that the changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows. So here's what's new on this preview. First, the Windows Startup Sand will no longer play after the computer reboots to apply updates automatically. However, this doesn't mean that the sound will no longer play after restarting the computer or when turning on the computer, the Windows Startup Sound will play as always. Then, as part of the uh, quick settings improvements, when you right click the Bluetooth item, you will now see an option to open the settings on the Bluetooth and devices page. On Bill 22449.1000, the notification experience has been improved so that there is a better visibility of the app names from the notifications, as you can see right here. So now we have the name of the app, which is separated from the notification. Also, the Toast notifications has been updated. So now they use the acrylic background. So now we have some transparency when viewing the notification. Let me just do another one. And you can see now that we have transparency. On previous bills, we didn't have that. And the animation used in the Windows Hello notifications when setting up the feature has also been updated. Also, as part of the boot experience, the startup will now show a progressive rain animation instead of the animated circle of dots. Right now, you will see this new animation during startup, but Microsoft plans to adopt this new animation in other parts of the OS. And let me restart the computer so you can see how that animation looks like. That's the all animation, which is still visible in the operating system. That's the new animation. Finally, Windows 11 already comes with SMB compression, which is a feature that compresses the files to improve network transfer speeds at the cost of some additional processor usage. In the past, the feature will try to compress the files, but if the file didn't compress during the first 100 megabytes, the compression will stop and continue the transfer. In this release, SMB compression will always try to compress the file when requested. The feature can be used using tools like RoboCopy. So you will type RoboCopy and then you will use the uh, source and destination path. And then you also add your arguments like you always do. And then to request compression during the transfer, you will use the compress option. In the case that you're using File Explorer, you can enable SMB compression when mounting the share using the net use command, the path to mount the network folder into Windows 11 and using the request compression option. And those are pretty much the changes available on Windows 11 build 2000 449.1000. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.